Live from Press Corps World Headquarters, this is Foxhole Flash, bringing you the latest updates from across the Siva Valley War Zone. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I'm Jeffrey Jennings. We're in the 40th conflict of a Foxhole War. It's day 56. In a reversal from the first 10 days of fighting, when colonial forces appeared to be forming salients around Sevish held abandoned ward and into a pocket, the wardens have resecured the entirety of the Deadlands and have pushed into Lockmore, taking the entirety of that region as well. Fighting now is focused primarily on the Drowned Vale, where colonial forces are attempting to halt the warden offensive, using the inundated fields to their advantage whenever possible. The keep in Central Vale, as well as the eastern town of Bootnap, has changed hands several times in the last week, but the latest push from the Collies has concentrated warden positions to Loggerhead and the northeast corner of that region. Fighting is also being reported along the regional borders of Umber Wildwood and the Heartlands, with the warden securing a fort at Barony Ranch in the latter and threatening the northwestern town of Baronstown. Both regions are home to four component fields and two component mines each. Combined, they make up 100% of the components in the remaining four regions still under colonial control. Should either region fall, the capacity of the legionary war machine to field advanced weapons of war will be seriously handicapped, although it's up to the colleagues to see if they can't make that happen. With updates every 15 and 45 of the hour, if available, I'm Jeffrey Jennings, and this is Foxhole Flash. Here in the 40th conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 56. The Wardens give themselves some breathing space around Loggerhead, destroying the Colonial Fort at Wisps, at Wisps Warning. Colonial hard points at East March, the Wash, and Bootnap remain. In Umber Wildwood, we're getting reports that a warden incursion into the region north, into the region uh, north of the foundry was repelled, with at least one outpost destroyed within approximately 250 meters of the town. Whether there remains other warden presences in the region have yet to be confirmed. And in the heartlands, warden forces are slowly building their way to Baronstown, bolstering their position originally broken into earlier, with the warden foxhole line reportedly as close as 100 meters, more or less, of Town Hall. If the wardens manage to capture Baronstown, this will give them a proper foothold into the heartlands. Worries for the colonial economic situation remain, both the Heartlands and Umber Wildwood are home to four component fields and two component mines each. Combined, they make up 100% of the components in the remaining four regions still under colonial control. Should either region fall in its entirety, the capacity of the legionary war machine to field advanced weapons of war will be seriously handicapped in the weeks to come. With updates every 15 and 45 of the hour, if available, I'm Jeffrey Jennings, and this is Foxhole Flash. Here in the 40th conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 57. Fighting continues in the Drowned Vale and the Heartlands. In the Vale, the Wardens have managed to secure the, that breathing space acquired earlier, with a Foxhole checkpoint reportedly protecting the western road into Loggerhead, although Colonials in the region still have plenty of room to maneuver, holding on to the bottom two-thirds of the region. In the Heartlands, Legionary forces have rallied, with troops pushing back Warden engineers from the town, as well as northeast of the town on the Warden's eastern flank, although the Warden fort at Barony Ranch is expected to hold out for quite some time, with plenty of room to hold that line. Howitzers and armored cars have made their way onto the battlefield for several weeks now, although the usage of green ash shells have yet to be reported. But green ash canisters thrown from infantry have been reported. With updates every 15 and 45 of the hour, if available, I'm Jeffrey Jennings, and this is Foxhole Flash. Let's get out there back to the music. Here in the 40th conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 57. Fighting rages on just outside of Baronstown in the Heartlands as the Wardens hold on to their forward positions, but with Colonial defenders continuing to apply pressure. We're getting
Canadian reports that the French 11 ERC outfit is spearheading warden operations in the region, although we do not have any correspondence with them, as much as he would like to get someone from that regiment on the line. Meanwhile, in the Drown Vale, the wardens have captured the fort at Wisp's warning, stabilizing the top third of the region under their control. No major incursions into the heartland, into, excuse me, Umbro Wildwood. No major incursions into Umbro Wildwood so far since the last warden push near the foundry about early on day 56. Although developments elsewhere and the onset of operations could change that very quickly. With updates every 15 and 45 of the hour, if available, I'm Jeffrey Jennings, and this is Foxhole Flash. Let's get ourselves back into the music. Here in the 40th conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 58. Colonials in the heartlands make some headway against the warden positions just outside Baronstown, halting the initial offensive into the region. Moderate colonial breakthroughs on the north-south road parallel of the town have been reported, although nothing decisive has been declared yet. It is believed the colonials have turned the table into a full-on counterattack, with warden engineers attempting to hold as much of the line as possible. No word yet if warden reinforcements are on the way with any assets or force multipliers that could turn that table right back, although we'll keep you updated. Meanwhile in the Drown Vale, we are getting, through the wire, reports of warden action led by the Roughnecks, the Roughnecks outfit. The last reported numbers came through as 10 infantry with two armored cars, with about 30 casualties so far. All this happening on the northeastern approach of the Wash, in the middle of the region. That information coming from the Roughnecks Cool Cat. And with that, a reminder that if you have a war story or ongoing operation, come to Press Corps World Headquarters through the Discord link below and message a member of the Corps to get your reports read live on the air. With updates every 15 and 45 of the hour, if available, I'm Jeffrey Jennings, and this is Foxhole Flash. Let's get back to the music. The 40th Conflict of the Foxhole War, this is uh, day... Uh, what is this, day 57, day 56? I think we've got it just about here. Day 58, there we go, day 58. We are joined here in the studio today by members of... Members of the force headed towards, of the Roughnecks, headed towards, um... Headed towards the wash, where it is reported that a fort has just take, been taken down. Uh, gentlemen, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, who is this? Uh, this is Robot Spark of the press, and I am here at the scene. We can confirm that the fort has been taken down, and further advances have been made up along the road. Okay, yeah, no, I got that. I got that over you on the line. Who's this in the studio with me? Dr. Ryan, Warcore, who is the, who, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Oh Ryan, I, I did. I, uh, yesterday, I reported to you about a book of the undead and uh, attacks. I wanted to give you a little update on this. Warcorp is in the, in the hospital right now, making a recovery. We are doing further investigations into the matter. Wait a second, wait a second, so hold on. Wait, are you the guys who, are you guys who, who, who told me about zombies? Yes. If you will... If okay, you what's going on here? If you do not mind having some, t us taking some of your time. We were doing talking to some of the locals in uh, Faranac Coast. We're going the doctor, get the doctor. Warcorp, shut up, you're going to make it. Anyways, as I was saying, the guys in Farinac Coast, an older man, says he's heard of this as well. He didn't tell us much, he just, he just told us that, he just kept repeating, the time is coming, the time is coming. We are going to do further investigations in this matter. Okay, Robot Spark, what can you tell us about the, the ongoing situation, the warden uh, situation, over at the Wash in central Down Vale? Down vale. Well, we're low on ammo, but we're pushing steadily. There's uh, reports of a Tier 1 fob to the east that could bring hassle if we try to rebuild the fort, but that doesn't seem to be an issue as of much. Uh, the, the advance is going steadily under cool and calm leadership from Roughnecks member Toolcat, who was recently promoted to lieutenant within the clan, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. We've also got on the line with us uh, Cool Cat as well. Cool Cat of the Roughnecks, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Uh, yeah, can you, can you describe the situation here along with Robot Spark, uh, the current situation at the Wash? The fort has just been taken down, and a central position has just been set up, or is beginning to be set up, uh, at, um, in the Drown Vale, is that correct? 
That is correct. We are currently pushing up with one of the ACs. The other one has uh, fuel and ammo issues, but we will fix that as soon as we get Lodgy. We are currently trying to take the wash keep, but the four has been uh, destroyed, and we're trying to secure it right now with the sea. And can you tell us uh, about any casualties, uh, the number of casualties that have been incurred so far? We've been attacked from both sides, usually coming in from around the flanks by Colonia throwing uh, HEs at us, but for rifle infantry, we have not gotten that much, but we're doing steadily so. Okay, I can, yeah, are you at the aid station? Because I can hear some of the casualties in the background. Wait, no, who is that? Warcore, is that you again? Yeah, it's Sorry, K1. Sorry. Warcore, we're going to turn the radio off real quick. Oh, Just good. Okay, Dr. Ryan, can you can you describe the can you describe the wounds on War Corps for us? He's been very he's been mutilated. Doctors are working on him, getting him patched up. Oh my God, he's where, had twenty stitches God, so where's far. Where's my hand? He still uh, needs five more. Oh, shit. Okay, so so to get this straight, we've got reports we've got reports of zombies at zombies at the wash in Central Drowned Vale. Is that correct, Robot? Uh... No, I have no idea what these lunatics are going on about. We are currently uh, attacking the keep, and all is standard military. Robot, let me infantry, ask you a infantry, question. Infantry, infantry, infantry. I may ask something. Have you seen anything ominous, like people running at insane speeds, or people hit with mutilated bodies or faces? I can't say I have, but I will keep an eye out for anything along that nature. If I'll let you know if I see anything of that. Okay, hold on. I'm a little I'm a little confused right now. I think we're gonna have to cut away. We're gonna have to figure this out. Uh, figure this out outside, uh, off the off the air. Uh, we got here press course. The press course robot spark roughnecks cool cat as well as Dr. Ryan and War Corps. I have no idea exactly what's going on in terms of the zombie situation. If that can be all confirmed, but we can confirm that the wash, the fort at the wash in Central Drown Vale has been taken down. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the music here. Man on the other side. Man on the other side now.